In this video, I will show you how to add an application security policy to your API. The application security policy requires that an application key and optionally a secret is passed with each API invocation. This allows you to control the applications using your APIs. I'm going to start by looking at the details page for my account data API. I will scroll down to the implementation section and click on the live implementation. We are now looking at the implementation page. The first thing I want to do is remove the ability to access the API anonymously. To do that, I will click the edit button in this section of the page. I will uncheck allow anonymous access and I'm also going to uncheck approval required. We do not want to have an approval process when someone subscribes to the API. Click Save. Next, we're going to scroll down to the policy section of the implementation page. As you can see, we already have a detailed auditing policy attached. Next, we're going to add an application security policy. Click the Edit button. Select the application security policy by clicking the Attach button and then click Save. We will scroll down to the policy section and see that we have the application security policy attached and the detailed auditing policy attached. Now we will test the application security policy. I have already created an app in the system so that we can subscribe to this API in order to test. Let's begin testing. We will scroll up, we will click on Back to Implementations, click on Overview, and then we will click Access this API. I will select my app that I created earlier, which is the Customer Account app. Click Next. Select the environment. Currently we only have one environment and that is the live environment. If we had a sandbox environment that would be listed here too and we could have an option of selecting that. Let's click on Save. And now you can see that we have successfully subscribed to the API and we are in the approved state. Our customer account app still can't use the API because we are not in an activated state. This right here needs to be green and activated before we can begin using the API. We are trying to access a production API and our system is currently configured that the API owner needs to activate the API for each application. To do this, I need to be the API owner or the provider. Right now I'm logged in as the API administrator so I can act as both a consumer and an API provider. And so I'm going to activate my own API. I'm going to click on dashboard. Here's a, you know, the dashboard gives you an overview of what's going on in your whole um, API ecosystem community. And I can see my API consumption request right here and I'm going to activate it. I will put a comment in saying customer account can now use the production API and I will click confirm. Now let's go back and take a look at the app. Here's my app. And you can see we are now in a green activated state. So let's test our API. I'll click on the API and go to Documents. We can use the test client embedded in the Swagger documentation to test the API. Let's take a look at Get Accounts. When we scroll down, we can see that the invoke is grayed out. This means that we need to configure security. So we will click on the security button. 
and it'll bring up this form. We can select the implementation we would like to test, so for example the live, or if we had a sandbox we could select the sandbox. It'll show the endpoints. It'll also allow us to choose which application we want to test with. We're going to use our customer account app, and then it'll display the app ID and secret. Click Save. And now our invoke is enabled, and we'll click invoke we can see the response. So in this video, I have shown you how to attach an application security policy to an API and then subscribe to the API with an application and test the security using this embedded client in the Swagger documentation.